Hey everyone, we have Ernest for you. So go ahead and um, raise your hand and we'll get rolling. Go ahead, Jordan. Hey Ernest, I'm Jordan Rodriguez with The Athletic Los Angeles. Congratulations, man. How are you feeling right now? Man, I'm the happiest man alive right now. You don't understand. <laughs> Who's there you know, with you? Uh, my sister, my mom, my brother-in-law, uh, two two groups of my family friends and my niece and nephews. Uh, on the football part of things, Ernest, um, obviously, you know, your your position, you're projected as a, a defensive end, but um, do you feel like you can be an outside inside player as well, especially with your ability against the run? Oh, of course. I mean, I feel like I'm a versatile player. I can play outside inside. I think that's what Northwestern had me do uh, to get prepared for the next level. So I feel like I could play anywhere. Thanks. Thank you. Stu? Hey, Ernest, Stu Jackson with therims.com. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, I was wondering what your uh, media reaction was when you found out you were joining a, a defensive line that includes uh, Aaron Donald. Like I said, again, I'm going to say this the whole day, the happiest man alive. You know, y'all had, well, now I can say we, we had the uh, best defense the last year coming up, and I can just put some more on that as well and learn after some, uh, you know, learn after some defense alignment from the Rams. It's just, it's the best feeling in the world, you know, especially, especially here in Donald. And then did you have a good feeling that the Rams would be interested in you and might select you based on how the pre-draft process went? What was that like? I definitely did. I talked to Coach Haney a lot. You know, uh, we kept in contact almost every week leading past, uh, I want to say, uh, February. But we just kept in good contact, you know, uh, probably the best relationship out of anybody. And, you know, I appreciate him for believing in me. I appreciate the Rams for believing in me. And I'll put forth the work every single day when I get on at the Rams facility. Thank you. Thank you. Dennis? Hey, Ernest, how are you today? Happiest man alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm with uh, News for Us Online. Uh, talk about how you feel about uh, you and Rashawn being out here on the West Coast now. Oh, it is amazing. You know, that's my boy. Uh, just going up against him, practice every day. Uh, well, this was two years ago, but yeah. it, it just got me better. You know, he went first round, you know, he helped me out, critiqued me on my, on what I should do. And he, I could cheat him on what he should do. It's just, it feels amazing. Cause I've never been in the West coast like that. I was born in the West coast for six months and I left here for Texas. Uh, so I get to feel that again as 22 years old. So it's going to be pretty amazing. Um, and can you talk about the physicality of the conference that you uh, played in? And how did it prep you to be to be able to play in the uh, NFL level? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, Northwestern, we we learned the fundamentals. Coach Fitz does a great job. Coach Long, my defensive line coach, we all all talk talk about the fundamentals of football, and we get down and we got a punch, physical punch, lockout, shed and tackle, all that stuff. So I think it really did prepare me for the next level. All right, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Maria. Ernest, welcome to the Rams. Thank you so much. Yeah, Maria Soraya with Cox TV. Can you take me through the last 48 hours? I know that you've been working toward this moment, but it's here. What is it like when you're waiting? Um, I mean, you know, just looking at the draft, just to realize that I'm, I might have a potential to be a part of this thing is so amazing. You know, uh, it's once in a lifetime chance, you know, and to look on the screen, you see your name called. It's the best feeling in the world, you know. Uh, I, I just can't believe. I just can't believe that y'all believe in me. I, I'll put forth the, the effort every single day. I'm gonna show y'all what I can do. And I, I'm just really the happiest man alive right now. Did you have a lot of teams calling you? I did, yes ma'am. And, and what were the conversations like? You don't have to specifically take me through all of them, but with the Rams, what were the conversations like? Yeah. You know, I uh, had, had a great relationship with Coach Henderson. Uh, we talked almost every single week. Uh, it, it was just, you know, catching up, you know, He's putting my, he's putting my mindset as being a dog every day, and that's that's really helped me out through uh, training all throughout this time, uh, and it's been basically that. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. We'll wrap up here with Gary and then Kevin. Hey, Ernest. Um, Gary Klein from the Los Angeles Times. Um, I was we were going through your bio. It, it said you made your first career start this past season 
as, yes, as a senior. So can you kind of take us through your, you know, your, your, your years at Northwestern and how you evolved into a starter as a senior? Oh, of course. So, you know, freshman year, you know, I was a young pup, of course, 18 coming out 255, uh, played almost every single game except for one, played like five snaps a game. And then going into sophomore year, I was a little lighter. I was about 250. Uh, Joe Gaz, who was now with the Chargers, great player, you know, led the team in sacks, was starting over me. And we had Sam Duke, another great one that uh, is going in next year uh, for the, he came back from injury. Uh, but uh, had that, had was great on my last stretch, my ha last stretch, half of the games, or excuse me, half the season. And then junior year came, was 270, gained a couple pounds and uh, felt the best at that weight, you know, uh, was stopped shortly because of an injury, my pectoral injury, but then uh, motivation happened. Uh, and my senior year came and I, I started and, uh, and yeah, that's, that's what happened. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Kevin, we'll wrap up with you, please. Uh, hi, Ernest. Congratulations. I'm Kevin Modesti. Uh, I cover the team for the Los Angeles Daily News. Um, did I understand you to say that you spent some time in California when you were very young? Tell us about that. Very, very young. So I was a baby. I was I was in San Francisco, actually, uh, Walnut Creek. Um, I was born there. But then six months, I don't, you know, I don't remember as a little kid, but uh, six months passed and then I moved to Texas. So this will be my actually my first time since I was a little baby that I go back to the West Coast. And so no L.A. experience or no L.A. experience. First time in L.A. Yeah. And no family in the Walnut Creek uh, area. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to town. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Ernest. Congratulations. We look forward to working with you. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, everyone. We will, we will, uh, we'll see you in the seventh round here. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I, I think uh, I, I'm fairly confident we'll see you again in the seventh round. Not you, Ernest. You go enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you. We'll see you.